Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all my cancer placements out there. So if you have cancer as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another, or maybe not too sure where you both stand with one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all cancer placements out there, so it might not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So let's get started with some messages from your person. Where is this headed? My feelings for you are steadily growing. I don't want to be a bother. Okay, so I feel like there is some distance within this connection as far as like communication and just things not progressing right now. And that has you thinking, where is this headed? Where is this going? Because your emotions are kind of left on pause and you don't appreciate that because you feel deeply and especially about this person you've gotten in to know them and like somewhat like trust them um and right now it's just like there's some holding communication and that's just not sitting well with you you want some type of confirmation or security or reassurance about where this is headed with your person um, I do feel like this has been a slower moving connection. Um, we have my feelings for you are steadily growing and this could be you or your person's energy, but I feel like this connection, it took a while to get where it's at now. And that's just because things kind of happen naturally. Um, but you've gotten to know your person and with you, I feel like you wouldn't your feelings wouldn't be growing for them if you if you just didn't care about them. So that's why this connection is heavily on your mind and you, you could just be replaying things in your head. And because you're replaying those moments or whatever in your head, it causes like a whole new cycle for you. And like, it's just kind of frustrating. Um, emotional for you but just frustrating because you're kind of confused um we have i don't want to be a bother i feel like you've reached out to this person you could have texted them just to see like are things okay or like how are you doing and i feel like the responses are very like no effort at all or just very short and you could have done that a couple times where or they could have done that a couple times but like someone has sent out a text or trying to start a conversation and you feel like you're being shut down by this connection and by this person so right now there's not any communication coming from you or your person because you're not about to let yourself keep feeling this way and feeling like you're a bother to this person when you didn't do anything wrong, you just don't know why your person is being like this to you or if their feelings have changed. And I feel like you would rather know if their feelings have changed for you, but at the same time, you don't want to seem vulnerable to even ask that because this connection has kind of been moving slower and you don't want to place or make it seem like that's what you're focusing on right now because you don't want them to know truly how you're feeling um but you are feeling hurt i can see the future in your eyes this connection is hard to face my word is bond 
Okay, so I feel like since this connection was growing steadily and like over time, you started to picture yourself with your person. Um, you just started to feel really comfortable around them and they made you feel secure, but this mis this non-communication between you two that that kind of blindsided you and it's hurting you right now that's that's what I'm getting um and because you kind of put some trust in this person and you thought that they were reliable because you knew that that's all you were going to be to them you were going to be reliable like why put any effort into a connection if it's just gonna go nowhere and I feel like you you kind of move with true intentions about what you want from this connection and you wanted something serious but and it seemed like your person wanted that too so as the relationship or connection progressed this person became very familiar with you and you could have been letting your guard down with them um but suddenly something happened where the connection fell off and it's hurting you right now i feel like this is your person this connection is hard to face i feel like they could have had the same intentions as you with this connection but something came back around that shut them down um shut their emotions off and they're just not telling you what that is and they just feel like I don't think that this person like they could have just completely stepped away from this connection in terms of communication but other than that I feel like they're just giving you the communication is not the same and I feel like there's something that happened in their own life where something came back around that maybe they didn't close out before, whether that's some other commitment, it doesn't have to be another person, maybe just something else that they needed to tend to from the past and it came back in their present. And now it's like, okay, I can't, I can't be in this connection like I wanted to. And <clears throat> right now this connection is hard to face because they know that they can't devote all their time into this connection and also they just don't know how to tell you without I feel like they're scared to let this go so soon because it might not come back um, and whatever happened or came back around it was very all of a sudden and they weren't expecting it themselves or they weren't planning it and they don't want to like cut it off because this is too soon for them. This isn't what they wanted. You do have my word is bond. I feel like this person was truthful to you. I feel like their intentions were truthful, but I don't feel like, and this isn't for everyone and lead with your own intuition, but I don't think they're lying to you I don't think it's someone else. I think that it's something and another obligation um, that they have to tend to. For example, like for work, maybe they were in town or they are like they were in your area for a little bit of time and they thought they were gonna be there longer and then all of a sudden they have to move for work. And it's like, okay, how are we going to do this long distance something like that or maybe they have a family obligation they have to tend to maybe this isn't for everyone but maybe they do have children or a child that they need to be there for so let's get some more cards from your person i love you more than anything you are out of this world this the stars took their time and it shows. Forget your last, I will be what you need and desire. Tell me everything there is to you. It's all intriguing. Don't hold yourself back. 
I haven't been entirely honest and that's because I don't want to lose this. Everything just happened so fast. Okay. Alright, so yeah, that kind of confirms that I don't think your person was planning this separation in the connection. Um, it wasn't their intention to hurt you like this, but something just came back around that they had to tend to. And if you're just unsure with what's happening, where is this headed between you two, I feel like right now they're trying to figure out a way to explain it to you, but they don't want to lose you. Um, they want to still have you around, but it's not what you were hoping for. It's not what they were hoping for, but they, they still want to... They still want to be there for you and maybe make it work, but right now they can't focus on it fully. Then we have, I love you more than anything. You are out of this world. The stars took their time and it shows. And then forget your last. I will be what you need and desire. Tell me everything there is to you. It's all intriguing. Don't hold yourself back. I do feel like it's just taking you a while to really trust this person and just as everything was going good, you kind of felt in a way dumb because it's like this is why I don't like show too much of myself because people end up leaving. Um, but your person, I feel like they've recognized how much you have opened up to them and they appreciate that. and. It's like right now it's somewhat of a loss because they have other things they need to tend to, but they don't want you to look at, look at it as it's your fault or they're not interested in you because that's not the case. And then with this card, I feel like someone who thinks this about you really admires you in a special way. And I feel like by just getting to know you, your person has been able to observe things about you that might like be hidden to others um, and your person has just taken the time to understand you and appreciate you for who you are. All right, so that's all I have for my cancer placements today. I do hope you were able to re relate and connect with this message. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.